Um, my name is Tara hunt -Rods. I got triple boys, actually. They just turned 15 on the Collins Maxwell uh, baseball team. And they've played since they're little and they're pretty excited to get going on the season. So when the governor said they were having baseball season, I know them and the coach were contacting each other and um, couldn't wait to get started and see when they could hit the field. <laughs> Um, yeah, let, we all kind of went there tired at first. So supposedly the softball coach, Troy Hogue, and uh, our baseball coach, Jason Hasbrook, got together and decided that, hey, let's do a 12.01 a.m. practice. And the kids were all ecstatic and thought, you know, why not? This is a strange thing to be happening. So let's start it in a strange way. So they got together and the kids wanted to do it. So we, we drove the kids in and they got to play underneath the lights. and. Um, they were all kind of cocked and sluggish, but once they saw each other, they all big smiles and you could tell wanted to kind of embrace each other, but want to be uh, aware of social distancing too. Yeah, um, yeah I'm, my kids are very busy in sports, so I kind of miss watching them play. <laughs> And I don't know if the kids realize, but I go, this is a time in history that I'm hoping doesn't happen again in our lifetime. But, you, you know, a lot of places are plans, can't play sports and you guys get to and you took advantage of 1201. You want to set the precedence for everybody else and get on the field. So it was cool watching kind of a little bit of a historic moment. I don't know if it really sets in their mind that this probably might be in history books one day about how all this happened and how, you know, Iowa got to start the kind of the season out playing sports. Um, you know, I thought they did a very good job with uh, um, the Iowa High School Athletic Association, the Department of Education, uh, putting out those rules. And I know <clears throat> our AD, Troy Hogue, has talked to our baseball coach, Jason, has to make sure all the parents knew what the rules are. And I'm sure as we go, we'll be learning. It's, it's something new. It's new for uh, you know everyone, and we're all going to try to probably learn and think of things as we go. Um, but I think the hardest part will be the kids being conscious of what they're doing. They're so used to spitting and chewing seeds and high-fiving and it might be hard to kind of break that habit or remind them, but I, the coaches did a good job trying to talk to the kids and parents of what we needed to show an example going forward. I know the kids don't want fall sports to be canceled either, so they want to follow the guidelines best as possible. Um, I'm Blake Huntrods. I'm Jace Huntrods. I'm Luke Huntrods. It was pretty fun. First, I thought it was strange, but then I realized we're the only state that gets to take advantage of it, so we might as well. I was excited. I, I just I thought it was a great idea, and I was ready to play baseball. So twelve oh one was awesome. Yeah, it was pretty weird. I, you know, I'm used to just coming to the game, to coming to practice and high five and, you know, getting all excited, but we couldn't do that. We just had to, you know, talk to each other, get excited through communication. I mean, like, you normally all give each other hugs, share seeds or whatever, but you can't do that now. It's all have to be separated. It was pretty exciting. We got, I mean, it was the first time out there. We might as well get started right away, get going, and just work hard for the season. Well, we won't have many practices before games, so we have to get the ball rolling real early so we know we're prepared for our games to start. It was it was great. I haven't seen a lot of them in a super long time, so just to meet up with them and then see their faces was was awesome. Well, it was pretty good just seeing them and then taking the field and having fun at midnight was just a pretty exciting thing for us going forward. Yeah. Well, we normally have practices at 3.30 and it'll probably go for another hour and a half, two hours. And we have about 10 practices before our first game. We'll see. Yeah. We're gonna try.
Yeah, we're we all. I mean, we all live on a farm, so we get to go around and do stuff. We can all play catch together. Most kids don't have someone to do that with, so we'll probably be more prepared than other kids. Uh, at first, I didn't really think about it. I just thought, oh, it's going to be our first practice for our season, and that was it. But now it's kind of sinking in. 